folks to the Dragon Dave Show. Man, I, am I glad you guys are here? Because let me tell you something. The first episode, you know, I, I, you know I'm, I'm surprised I'm still here. But you're all here, and that's a good thing, right? Hey, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And from what my producers told me, the ratings have gone through the roof, off the charts. So that's a good thing, right? So thanks for tuning in. Now let's get let's get let's get on with the show, okay? My first guest, he is the man himself. He's none other than the BTW Wrestling Champion. We're going to talk about some of his matches. We're going to talk about some of his opponents and one match in particular that I'm very interested in coming up December 2nd at the Newark Pavilion and I'm hoping you guys will come out for that one. Why don't you, would you please help me welcome the BTW Wrestling Champion, Mr. Shane Cody. Shane Cody, come on here, man. Hey, hey, come on, guys. Hey, hey, Shane Cody, there you go. There Dragon it is. Dave. Dragon hey. Dave. How you doing? How's Ow. it going, man? How you doing? Is that about to set this right here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Cody. This is what it's all about, isn't it? Yes, it is. Being on the top, at the top of the mountain. Yeah, it, it is, Dave. It's it's been a lot of fun. It's uh, being on top is uh, what it's all about. Yeah. Well, let's talk about you know. Let's talk about you know the, the triumphs and tribulations that it took for you to get here, you know, and what you had to go through, you know, to uh, to get to where you eventually are as the BTW Heavyweight Champion. You know, Dragon Dave, you know, I've been in this business 32 years, yeah. and uh, I've had a lot of matches, and you, you know, it's like a ladder, you, you work your way up, and that's what I've done, and I worked hard, and a lot of sweat and pain, and um, you know, you, you work your way to being the champ and any other belt yeah. holder. Yeah, but I gotta tell you something. You know, um, you know, being champion is not that easy. You got a guy, you got a lot of guys gunning to take this position, and you know. And uh, let's talk about some of the luminaries. Let's talk about some of the uh, your potential future opponents here in BTW who are uh, who are looking for you to you know to, uh, you know be at the top of the mountain. Let's somebody like, for example, uh, uh, Tony Vargas, who told me that he feels that he is the rightful uh, uh, you know the the, the first one next in line because he happens to be the United States champion and that gives him first first shot oh well, Dave you know they all think they should have a, a shot at the belt and Tony Vargas um, you know he's come a long ways in this business I uh, can't say nothing bad about him he's a, a real good wrestler and he deserves what he has um, as him being the, the heavyweight champion, he's not on the same page as uh, Shane Cody yet. Mm -hmm. He's working, you know, he works hard, and that's what he's at right now. So I think he should just stay where he's at right now. Well, uh, let's talk about somebody else here. Uh, my uh, uh, on the last show, I had one, Mr. Christopher Black, who told me that eventually, eventually, you and him will have to face each other in the ring, and when you guys do. This belt is going around his waist. What do you think about somebody like that? Impressive, impressive, uh, impressive man. Well, Christopher Black, I mean, he, he talks good. Um, I mean, any time, the belt's always open. Um, Christopher Black, Tony Vargas, Sin, um, it don't matter. Mm. It doesn't matter. Mm. Well, let's talk about one particular match that I'm very, very interested in, uh, you know, and, you know, obviously discussing, and that's this upcoming uh, December 2nd, you know, at the historic Newark Pavilion, you know, uh, a place where you have had many, many triumphs and many, uh, many title defenses. This one happens to be a uh, six-man tag with uh, one Will Cuevas and our, uh, our next upcoming guest, who you are no stranger to, uh, Mr. El Guerrero. Well, you know, December 2nd, uh, Newark Pavilion, um, that's my town, that's my house, um, El Guerrero, Cuevas, um, you know, it's, it's on, the Chop House is going to be open, yeah. like it always is, and, um, yeah, you know, bring it on. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. El Guerrero, uh, let me tell you a couple things about El Guerrero, uh, we go way back, mm. Uh, I didn't say back in 1987, I think when that kid got a start, mm. he wasn't man enough to be a wrestler. He, he oh. tried it for a minute and he wasn't man enough. And then I heard he was out selling tacos over there in Hayward on the corner there at a taco stand there. Oh. And uh, well, they ended up running him out of town. So uh, it shows you about a little bit about El Guerrero. Uh, um, you realize he's here, right? You know, I don't care. And he's I don't care. Here. I don't care. Okay. You know. Okay. 
I'm just telling you the truth. All right. Well, uh, we're, we're going to talk. Uh, we're going to touch upon that a little bit later. Uh, you know, I'm sure when he comes out, he'll have his uh, his two cents to say about that. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, um, you know, uh, we'll be back with more here on the on, on the Dragon Dave Show. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's awesome. <laughs> the Dragon Dave Show. Yeah. We'll be right back. Come on back. Welcome back to the Dragon Dave Show, and I'm here with the BTW Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Shane Cody. Hey, and of course, you know, hey, the main, the main title. That's this it. is what it's all about: That's the it, BTW, the BTW Heavyweight Championship. Now, I got to tell you something. I would like, uh, if you don't mind, I would like to get into a little compilation clip of some of your greatest hits, from uh, courtesy of the Chop House. Okay. You know, all so right. why don't we get, why don't we get into this clip, and then we'll be Let's right roll back. It. Let's roll this clip. Wow, that was devastating. I'm telling you, I, I, I don't think I don't think those guys are gonna uh, uh, ask for any more reservations at the Chop House. You know what, Dave, I tell you what, when the chop house gets going, it just doesn't want to stop. I spread a lot of skin and, and made a lot of blood. Yeah, well, I saw that. Let me tell you something. I mean, uh, one, one guy in particular who did not appreciate some of the, some of the chop house was uh, our next guest, El Guerrero. So uh, you were talking to him earlier. You were talking about, about him earlier. Uh, so, uh, but, you know, but before we get into him again, uh, I want to make a correction. Our producer, uh, you know, uh, told me that this upcoming match is actually a three-way dance, not yeah. a six-man tag. It's no, a three-way dance three -way. between you, Will Cuevas, and El Guerrero. Yes. Talk about your opponents that night, starting with El Guerrero, you know, as you were alluding to him earlier. Well, let me tell you something about El Guerrero. He's been riding my coattail since 87. And you know why he's been riding my coattail since 87? Why? Because he's trying to make a name for himself. That's the only reason he's around. And then he sneaks back into big time wrestling right through the back door. And he goes, to, what does he do? He goes right to the top boy. Yeah. And that's Shane Cody. And you don't want to know why? Because he's trying to make a name for himself. Well, El Guerrero, December 2nd. It's on. You thought the chop house split you open before? I'm gonna make your back bleed. I'm gonna make your chest bleed. I'm gonna make your nipples bleed. What do you think about that, El Guerrero? Uh, well, you know he's here. He's, he's back. I don't care if he's here. I don't care who's here. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I, I'm not him. I'm not him. Well, okay, now let's talk about the, your other opponent that night. Don't forget, uh, Will Cuevas. Uh, what can you tell me about him? You know? Oh, I can't tell you too much because I don't know too much about him. But after I get done with him that night, he'll know about Shane Cody. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he will. Yeah, devastating, he devastating. Will. Let me tell you something. Now, now, of course, you know, let me ask you something. For, I'm sure anybody would like to ask you, what does it take to be a champion? Because, you know what, being on top of the mountain, you know, there's a lot of demands. There's a lot of uh, training, I'm sure you go through. A lot of uh, uh, opponents just, just, just trying to get to you to get this title. What does it take to stay on top? I mean, you know, let me tell you what, Dave. You know, like I said, I've been in this business 32 years. <laughs> I forgot more than any of these guys will probably ever know. Oh. It's just a lot of work, a lot of dedication, mm -hmm. you know, uh, breathe, eat, sleep, wrestling. And it's just, you know, you, you work your way up to the top. It's, it's, that's what it's all about. It's, uh, it's just a lot of work no. to be a champ, any kind of champ. So let me ask you this. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it harder to get there or to stay there? And both. Both. Both, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears on both Yeah, ends. you know, it's hard to get there, and then when you get there, you know, everybody wants you. You know, yeah. everybody wants you. Well, well, I'm sure, you know, uh, the Chop House will remain open for business for a long time to come, because I'm sure you don't want to let go of this uh, this uh, precious metal here. No, I don't want to let go of it. It's, it's part of me now. Mm. 
Well, I got to tell you, folks, you know, uh, we're going to we're going to talk more about this particular match, you know, and of course, Friday, December 2nd at the Newark Pavilion. You guys got to you got to come out for that one. And uh, you heard what Shane Cody had to say. Well, now, after the break, we're going to bring out one of his opponents on that night, uh, a man who has, uh, you know, a lot of history with, you know, with uh, Shane Cody. And that's El Guerrero. We're going to talk about him. We're going to talk about his background. We're going to talk, we'll talk about his purpose, his mission here in BTW. And just stay tuned for that. I mean, uh, you know, let's just hope that uh, everybody stays in one piece. Let's, you know, uh, stay tuned for more. We'll be back on the Dragon Dave Show. Hey, how about that? Man, yeah, Dragon Dave Show. Hey, woo, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome to the Dragon Day Show. Hey, we're having fun here. Hey, but I got to tell you something. Um, it's going to get serious in a minute. I'm telling you right now, it's going to get serious. Uh, our next guest is a man who is world-renowned, has a reputation all over the world for being, uh, you know, one of the uh, top uh, mercenaries, if you you know, if, if you will, here in a, in, a, in not only BW wrestling but everywhere else. So, um, um, and and Cody, uh, you know, we talked during the break. You promised to you know behave like a gentleman. I know you two have history, but you know, let's uh, keep it civil here. You know, we don't want to wreck uh, my precious uh, uh, studio here. You know, I promise, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, professional that I am. Yeah, professional that you are. See. <laughs> uh, so uh, please, help, folks. Help, help me welcome. Would you please help me welcome a man world renowned all over? We're going to talk about him. We're going to talk to him right now, Mr. Agoretto. Agoretto, will you please come on here? Hey, all right. Hey, hey, uh, you know Shane Cody, right? Uh, okay. All right. Okay, over here. Hey, Agoretto. Hey, yeah. That's a good day. All right. You know, come on. There you go. Right there. Right there. Yeah, come on. So, hey, get comfortable here. It's the Dragon Dame show. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, get. Well, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, sure, sure, why not? You know, well, you, you're blocking the title, but that's okay. You know, hey, uh, you know. The title, you know, the BTW Heavyweight Championship. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about, yeah, there you go. Over here. There you go, right here. We're going to talk about your quest, uh, what, why you're here. And uh, let's, so, you guys. You know, you knew I was coming, Dave. Yeah, yeah, I knew. How I knew. come you didn't have stuff for me to eat in the back? Well. I mean, you, you're bringing El Guerrero on. Yeah. You know, you, you think you'd set up some food, something to drink, you know, maybe a couple of chicks back there for me. Well, well, but, you know, here you are. Yeah, I gotta come out and sit next to this bum, uh, and and then talk to you, and have to worry about watching my back over here with this guy. And there isn't even any food. I come well, out of here, I'm hungry. Well, well, you know, I, I had some pupusas back there. I don't know what happened to them. I know what happened to them. Well, you know, well, but, but let's 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 forget about that. Let's talk about first of all. Everybody wants to know about the man. El Guerrero, and uh, and and you are you have quite a reputation in the world of professional wrestling. You are the kind of guy that everybody looks at, and if anybody needs a job done, that's right. They go to you. Talk about you know anything you can, anything you can reveal about uh you know your uh, your job as a, a mercenary, should I say? Uh, well, you know, we don't want to say that, really. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, just uh, I always handle business. Mm -hmm. You know, um, ever since I was back in El Salvador when I was a kid, me and Cockamango were running around, and mm. uh, I always had his back. Mm. And uh, you know, just growing up handling business, people see me as uh, somebody to call upon whenever they needed things taken care of. So, An enforcer, should I say? You know, whatever you want to call it. I just take care of business. You know, mm -hmm. uh, before I came to the States here and started wrestling. Uh, and then I found you know, wrestling is a good way to uh, vent all my pent up frustrations. Not only that, but uh, from what I hear, you make quite a living uh, as a uh, as an enforcer. You know, when people want to, you know, want your services, uh, you know, you don't come cheap. From what I understand, you uh, because that's because you get the job done. I do get the job done, Dave. You mm -hmm. know, I don't like to call myself an enforcer because you know that's sorry, you know we don't want to say that type of stuff, right? Well, what what would you call yourself? You know, what would you uh, prefer? I call myself a friend helping friends. 
friend help a friend. Say, yeah, I, I can dig that. <laughs> you know, I, I, I can dig that. But then eventually, uh, yeah. Uh, Let me tell you why, Dave. Oh. I just can't hold it no more. Uh oh. So you call him and enforce him that he makes a lot of money, but he's coming out here with holes in his Levi's and he can't even fold it for the shirt. What's going on here, El Guerrero? You need to borrow some money. Uh, uh, <laughs> you need to borrow some money, El Guerrero. I'll flip you about a hundred where you get some pants and a, a shirt. Uh, uh, well, uh, it's called style, old man. Is it style? That's right. Hey, well, you know, the host is over here. So. Don't touch me. <laughs> well, hey, oh, 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 uh, let's, let's, uh, cool, let's, let's cool it there, uh, Cody. I, we don't want this, this precious set to be wrecked. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about you eventually making your way here at BTW okay. Wrestling. And the man on top of the mountain happens to be a man that you are very familiar with. Uh, yes. Talk about... Um, so, you know, I came out here because we heard that out here is the best wrestling. You know, after me and Kakamang tore up everybody there is to tear up in El Salvador, you know, out there, the police are scared of us, the gangs run from us, and the military wants nothing to do with us. So we came over here to the States to make a name for ourselves, you know. And, uh, you know, I used to do the same thing, Cody. Did You know, smack the people's hands, you know, get my little Joey Where's happy. Where's Kakamang? Where, where's Kakamang? Hey, well, well, let me hold, talk. Hold, 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 Shut your hold mouth, huh? Hold, 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 Shut up hold for a, a second. minute, huh? Hold, hold on a second. <laughs> Guys, why don't we take a break? <laughs> let's take a break. You're on the Dragon Day show. Sure, keep him shut up. Okay. Let's, let's, shut up. Let, let's take a break, and we'll be back with more here on the on the Dragon Day show. Hey, everything's good, right? All right. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Welcome back to the Dragon Day Show. All right, my, my guest. Hey, this, this thing is getting quite uh, <laughs> quite intense here. My guest, of course, uh, you know, El Guerrero, and of course, uh, the BZW Heavyweight Champion Shane Cody. Uh, everything's everything's good. Everything's great. You know. So uh, hey, so uh, let's 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 talk about um, some of your matches that you've had here in BTW Wrestling. One in particular that I'm very interested in was uh, a match that you had with one Mr. Uh, Jack Madison, and um, you know, a man who was on a roll <laughs> here in BTW wrestling and uh, you know unfortunately uh, you two met in the ring and uh, let, I would like to bring a clip you know of what happened uh, that night Let, let's uh, show the clip of uh, El Guerrero against uh, Jack Madison the guy can wrestle but god I, I, just the attitude of him I, I don't know why anybody would cheer for this guy and I don't think they do he gets a chorus of booze and look at that working on that left shoulder arm area again that he attacked again on the steel cable and I'll tell you Dave he's going for long term injury not just a short term win. Why not? Dave. Well, I'm Dragon Dave, sometimes I'm telling you, after all these years, well, you surprise me. Ugh. Well, you know, El Guerrero is not the kind of guy who just likes to beat you one, two, three. He likes to leave a lasting impression. <laughs> oh, you know, a, a, a little memory, so to, so to speak, to his opponents. And it looks like he's a uh, He's dropping some uh, some memories on uh, Jack Madison. Well, I'll tell you what. First of all, we've got a rookie referee here, young Justin, and you know he's. Uh, oh, uh, uh, now you can't do that. That's got to be a DQ right Welcome there. To BTW. Come on. Welcome to BTW, Justin. Oh yeah. Well, there's the bell. Finally, yeah, we got the Justin. You can't put your hands on a referee and look at Madison out here on this. Hey. Uh, uh, on this, this is not even a concrete floor, folks. This is a parking lot area, and this that's. Tarmac and it's it's midsummer now. Fans, a referee has disqualified Al Guerrero for attacking the ref. Your winner by DQ, Maverick Jack Madison. Wow, uh, I mean, you you put the man out of action, uh, Jack Madison. Now, was that really necessary to uh, put this young kid who had you know, who has a, in my opinion, still has a great future when he when he comes back? But was it necessary to put him out of action? You know, Dragon Dave. Uh, a lot of people said. El Guerrero, did you have to hurt him? No. Why, why, why did you hurt him? And how can you get away with that? Well, I hurt him, Dave, because I wanted to. <laughs> and you know, uh, I got away with it because I'm just so damn good looking that I get away with everything. Well, you know. 
uh, uh, I hope you don't mind Shane. Cody, uh, what do you think about this? Uh, you know, Eric Guerrero, you know, like putting this young kid out of action, Jack Madison. What do you think about that? Yeah, he just got lucky that night. I'm not really listening to him talk because he's just, that's all he is is a bunch of talk. I'm not really paying too much attention to him. Well, you have um, to face this man uh, coming up on December 2nd, along with Mr. Will Cuevas. Uh, talk about uh, that particular match, a three-way dance. You know, uh, Will Cuevas is a really good, tough competitor. Um, you know, Do you think he might get in your way? Uh, when yeah, he, just he will him. get in my way, just like Rick Luxury got in my way the last time we had a triple threat. I don't know what it is with BTW. <clears throat> For some reason, they don't want to put me up in singles against this man anymore. Uh, Do you think they're trying to contain you? You know, I, I don't really think it's they're trying to contain me. I think they're just trying to, just trying to keep him safe. You know, because every time I seem to be in a match, there's somebody else or some other stipulation going on, because they want to keep him the champion. Mm. They know that if we have a one on one, his time and his days are numbered. Uh. You know, I mean, look at, look at this belt. Yeah, that, that's Cody's belt. Yeah, I, well, look at it. Look yeah. how worn out it is. Look how old it is. It's, he doesn't even take care of it, just like himself. Well, 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 well. You know, uh, you think you take better let care of yourself. You Dragon oh, Day. Let me tell you, see, this is what I'm talking about. Uh. When you're the champion, everybody wants you. Mm. El Guerrero had a few chances at the champ, and he couldn't get the job done. This is what El Guerrero has been doing for many years is he rides Shane Cody's coattail. Oh, wow. Let me tell you something. Let me give you a little quick history. You know, back in the day when I started this, you know, I, I when I was in Bay Area wrestling, Mm. I had to leave Bay Area Wrestling. Why? Mm. Because the officials there couldn't keep control of this man over here. This big hero that everybody thinks is the big Newark hero. He's not no hero. He's a cheat. He's a lie. He cheats. I can't tell you how many times I woke up bloodied in the middle of the ring from getting hit by the cowbell just to be tossed out to get brass knuckled by his manager, Mike the Alaskan York. What do you got to say about that, Cody? Now, you people might think that Cody's changed. Let me tell you something. He has hasn't changed one bit. He's still a cheat. Mm. He's still a lie. And now he hides behind the management of BTW. Well, let me tell you, Cody, something's changed in these last 20 years, and that's me. I've changed. I'm a different man, and I'm coming at you from a different angle now than I used to before. So you better be ready, buddy, because come December 2nd, this belt is going to be mine. Wow. Well, hey, well, well, first of all, uh, uh, I want to thank you for being on the Dragon Dave show. Uh, thank you. I think maybe we should end it on that note. Shane Cody, uh, thank you very much for being, for being on the Dragon Dave show. And uh, folks, I got to tell you something. If you want to see these two get it on, the best way to do it, you know, come to one of our live shows, particularly December 2nd at the Newark Pavilion. These two are going to be in the ring. This is going to be on the line. This title is going to be on the line. You know, for tickets and info, go to btwrestling.com. You know, and um, yeah, there you go. Uh, so, but uh, hey, we'll be we'll be back with another exciting episode here on the Dragon Day Show. Hey, hey, maybe, maybe we'll have a Guerrero back if he wants to, and hey, we'll have food next time. And, Please, yeah, uh, and Shay Cody, maybe we'll have you back too. Uh, may, hopefully, w with the title still uh, in your possession. Watch so, the belt, why don't you? Yeah. So, uh, hey, thanks for tuning in on the Dragon Day Show, and uh, until next time. Woo!